Hey guys, we're coming here um, to you from the Rainforest Adventure Zoo. Oh my God, my hair is windblown. Um, here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee or Sevierville. I'm not sure which one we're in, do you know? I don't know. So we're here checking out all the cool animals they have. We've been here before, we absolutely love it. They've got great enclosures. So we're gonna take a look here. And we've got some lemurs going on. Really cool enclosure. Say hi, Mr. Lemur. So the kookaburras here are very active with their with their calling, or they at least were. Um, very loud. That was uh, that was the kookaburra. These are birds that are native to Australia. Uh, they typically live in like woodlands near water and things like that, and uh, they just kooked their burra. <laughs> You guys are funny looking things. All right, so we got them eating. And that's the one that just visited us. Oh look, he's showing us his best side. All right, very cool. They are super cute. I love watching them climb, they're so entertaining. We also get to see the albino Burmese. Decent sized Burmese, only four years old. And across the way, they've got a really nice retic enclosure with a beautiful retic. Two. Two of them? There's the other one. Oh, and the other one's in the corner. Those are really pretty. Hi. Hi, why? And friendly. Hey. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Very cool. You can see your scale of my hand, how big that head is. And that baby's still growing. So we'll see what else we can come across while we're here. So there's a couple of uh, ball pythons in here that are really pretty. There's that one back there that's just kind of slowly moving around that branch. Uh, there's this one down here as well. It's just kind of resting. There's one in the back that's also very pretty. I don't see any more than, than those three at the moment. But yeah, they're all just kind of chilling in here, having a grand old time as usual. Okay, so fun fact, we just learned these plated lizards, and I thought they were Sudan plated lizards, but these are not, these are, oh yeah, they are, they're Northern Africa, so they're the Sudan plated lizards. And um, one of the employees just told me that these guys are original to the zoo. They have been here the whole 20 years the zoo has been open. And she said they're all super friendly and really sweet. So that's really cool. Plus they've got a really neat enclosure. Yeah, I know I'm creeping on closure ideas, but they're super cool. I love them. You guys, if you know my breeding practices, know I'm a sucker for a good king snake. And we've got two really nice color patterns here. Really like this one here. And these guys are super chill too because they're not running and hiding when people walk up, which is awesome. All right. Got some tamarinds up here. <laughs> that one looks like Mozart's hair. <laughs> they are so cute. Apparently, Mr. Alava Love's mom used to have one of these as a pet, which doesn't surprise me. When she was a kid. When she was a kid, which doesn't surprise me as much as your mom loved animals. She had all kinds of crazy things just like you. Oh my gosh, look at the Suriname toad. You're so weird. Say hi to the camera, fellas. <laughs> It's turtle time. They look like they are more than likely turtly enough for the turtle club. Without looking at the name, you know those are? Yep. Oh, look at our junior reptile keeper right there. <laughs> he got it right. It's the Euromastix. Looks like we've got some yellow Euromastix in there. And they are quite fat and happy. Got the greens bowl. Looks like they got some Nom Don stuff in there. They've been working it over. But yeah, those are some fat and sassy Euromastics. I love it, love it, love it. These guys look super interesting. These are agouties, or agouties. Sorry, I think I, I mispronounced that. Um, and they are super cool. I thought they were capybaras for a second until I got a, a bit of a better look there from South America. 
and uh, they can get up to 14 pounds. They live up to about 12 years, and they do enjoy some of the plants and seeds, and I think they are super cool. They look like a mix of a capybara and almost an anteater, so I wonder if either of them are our cousins to these animals. It's beefy, and he keeps looking back at me menacingly. Where, where, where is he? I don't see him. He's right up there. I don't see him. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Yeah, he's a beefy boy. I love chameleon eyeballs. They're so much fun to watch move. That's oh, that, okay, I see it now. All right, now he's not moving because he's on camera. They always do that to me. Of course, our friendly neighborhood macaws are here in the outside section. These guys come from South America. Uh, they get about, uh, they can get up to 48 inches long. Um, they can live up to 60 years. So I, I don't know how old uh, these guys here are, but, um, they are generally mates for life, so these two are probably soul mates, which is pretty interesting. Hi, how are you? Why are you ignoring me? There we go. Hi. Hi. That was up close and personal time with a lemur. This China native blue-eared pheasant, um, this that comes from China. Uh, he's only about five pounds and they only last about 15 years. Um, absolutely beautiful bird here. Not quite sure why he's picking at his feathers though. Um, again, not entirely sure why he's doing that, but he is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, he's got a nice enclosure here at the Rainforest Adventures. And uh, what they like to eat, they eat insects and seeds like a lot of other birds do. And uh, males and females, um, like, the, like the macaws, they, they form some pretty strong bonds um, in their regions in the forest. So these guys are also kind of have that soulmate thing going on. We have some very active capuchin monkeys out here in this huge area where they can run around as they please. There's this guy over here um, and he is monkeying about. As you can see they're gonna he's gonna climb all the way up here go into his hole into what I'm assuming is a separate area of his habitat they've got a few more uh, there's some down here this guy's just chilling here by his log very active uh, as you can see there's a baby oh my goodness there's a baby I don't know if you can see him right there but there is a baby monkey right there that is super cool I didn't know they had the the baby monkey here but um, yes, uh, eating carrots, I'm assuming is what that is uh, down there in the corner. That is amazing. Um, I didn't know, um, see, I had no idea. Looks like, is that, is it just one baby or is that also a baby? I, I can't tell. One, I can definitely tell. One of them might just be younger um, or it might be two babies. I'm not entirely sure because one definitely looks smaller than the other. But um, yeah, so, oh, jeez. Oh, they're jumping. They're jumping, they're having a great time out uh, here. And this guy's kind of just trying to mind his own business. Um, staying away from everybody else because things seem to be getting a little a little hectic uh, over here. So guys, this is their Daegu enclosure. This is so cool. I love this Daegu enclosure. Look how big it is. It's naturalistic and it's got tons of enrichment. I've just been really impressed with all of the enclosures today so far. They're all clean. The animals are really well kept. 10 out of 10 highly recommend visiting the zoo if you're in the Smoky Mountain area. It's one of our personal favorites. I see you Cuban false chameleon. You can't hide from me. So this is the littlest Lotto Love's favorite part of the zoo. Oh my god, look at the little baby ski he loves guinea pigs, people like unhealthy. Look at the little babies. The thing that I think I like most, most about guinea pigs is that they're born looking like just little tiny adults. Um, they're born with all of their fur. They have their eyes open within a few minutes of being born. And really they're just a miniature version of their parents. And look at how cute it is. It's like a little dwarf hamster sized guinea pig. Guinea pigs, guinea pigs. So like this one, I'm trying to get it out of my shadow. This scampering around is super, super cute. I really like the coloration on them too. That's really pretty, that kind of marbling pattern in them. There's a couple of them in there like that. 
and I really like that. that is, I've never seen a guinea pig that color before. It's got a really pretty brindle Abyssinian in the back. Yep, there's a guinea pig playing under the hay. So we wanted to pause and take a minute to appreciate our little furry friends that is little Lotto Love's favorite animal.